allow yourself to observe whatever appears in your experience. Just observe. And it is not a doing. It is completely natural. by being as you are. Not involving with appearances. Just neutral. observation. And you can see it does not allow you to identify with temporary forms of experience. And those forms of experience can go in the most smooth way. And you are none of the forms. None of the sensations. None of the thoughts. None of the moods. Because all of these are temporary expressions. And they are being observed. So nothing moves you, nothing affects you. Nothing can change your pure awareness.
what is changing is just temporary expressions within your awareness. In awareness itself, which doesn't belong to someone, It is not your awareness as a person, because person is also observed within that awareness. as that awareness. Beingness. Which is completely effortless. You don't need nothing to be and to be aware. It's your nature. And it is the nature of everything. to be and know that you are in all the possible ways. And it is the same knowing, same being. Not as the thing, not as the object or subject. Just knowing, just being. And do not take these words as a concept. Confirm this in your direct experience, in your direct seeing.
see what is naturally there. If you don't touch any definition, like a baby that doesn't know, doesn't understand the language. What is naturally here? What remains? What is not artificial? What doesn't need to be maintained? What is immediate? Before starting to think about it. What is always and already here? Confirm by your being. Does it need anything? Does it need to know anything? Is it incomplete? Does it bound it in some way?
No thoughts. Don't touch the mind. Be as you are. Without structure. Without thinking. Just be. As you naturally are. It is not an effort. Effort can be used only to surrender your artificial efforts. Or just to recognize what is naturally here. And everything drops immediately. Into your natural state. before any particular state. Without position, without point of view. Because in true seeing, there is nothing to see. In true transparency, there is nothing. Only the same formless being.
without space and time. To perceive it in some way. It simply is as it is. As pure isness, you are. And you have nowhere to move, nowhere to arrive. Nowhere to lose yourself. So drop your attention into your natural stability. Which is effortless. beingness that fills everything. Leaves no gaps.
so your relative attention melts in this absolute beingness. Because there is nothing to focus on. You cannot grasp yourself. So stay as you are. And allow all the inner movements to stop. Without forcing. Just by being as you are. Allow all the tensions to dissolve. By not identifying with anything. All perceptions neutralizes by their own. All projections loses their charge if you are not involving with them.
because you are the source of all phenomena that you can perceive. So feel your undifferentiated power. Pure being that lacks nothing. complete by itself. Always perfect as it is. Awareness, unawareness, and nothing in between. Be fully direct, be fully precise. Do not identify with any projection. Even the subtlest one. You are nothing that you can perceive. Nothing. beyond perception itself.
you don't need perception. It is natural function within you. But you are not dependent on it. So be as you are. Be as this truth. As this absolute freedom.
from which unconditional love is automatic. Compassion and service is fully automatic. Then you recognize your absolute freedom, your absolute power. your true nature. So there is nothing to do, nothing to fix. Everything goes perfectly, flawlessly. In the perfect one, no expression can be imperfect. In the infinite one, there cannot be mistakes. Because there are no end.
Nothing is apart from infinite perfection. All expressions comes from it and goes back. And being itself never comes, never goes. And don't hold on to this award. Forget everything. Like you never listened to anything. No mind. No containers for pots. Nothing to grasp.
Nothing never was. Then you know yourself without knowledge, without thoughts. You don't need knowledge and thoughts. when you are without effort. You don't need any efforts. Even then, all these things appear. You cannot lose your nature. You cannot forget it really. Because it is never a part. It is as everything and beyond. Anything.
and your state of being always guides you this recognition. which feels unconditionally good. Unconditionally stable. So allow it to work for you as it's designed, as it originally designed. Your guidance principle. It always works. It cannot be broken. your inner master, your inner guru that always points your attention to its source. That links all experiences. to that which is beyond all experiences. You are not an experience.
You are so perfect that it cannot be grasped. You will never grasp how perfect you are. So just be. Be as you are. Be as you are. You cannot get anything better. There is nothing else. You are living fulfillment here and now. living fulfillment of all creation. Infinite and absolute.
And if your thoughts come back, don't go with them. Allow them to weaken. Just stay as you are. Nothing can take you. If you do not engage, And all these tendencies naturally weaken. marinate in your natural bliss of being. Allow it to overcome everything, all the partial wants and anxieties. Restlessness and dullness. just by being as you are.
there is no world outside of you. No universe, no creation. So love, service, and fulfillment is automatic. beyond understand just as it is Know yourself and everything is given. Full of clarity, full of harmony is natural. It cannot be lost.
all life is as perfect and simple as being. So rejoice in your being. There is nothing else to it. Nothing to achieve. Nothing to understand. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are as you are. Full presence. Full everything as one. Enjoy, enjoy. And everything else is taken care of. 